Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to crop an image into a circle using GIMP 2.10. So let's go ahead and open up the web browser and we'll go to Unsplash and I'm just going to look for someone's face so let's type in face and we'll probably download, let's say we download this picture here, this should be fine. We'll select this image and click download free and then on my desktop I've got this folder and we'll just drag and drop this picture into here and let's load up GIMP software. I'll put, put a link to this same image in the YouTube description. So we've got GIMP open here. We're going to go to File New and we're going to create a new image which is 400 pixels by 400 pixels. You can select any size you want. If you want a larger circled image then you'll need to select a larger size. But for now I'm just going to do it at 400 by 400 and we'll set the um, resolution to 72 dpi and fill with background. We're going to leave it at transparency for the moment. Transparency here. I'm going to click OK and we've got a transparent background now and what we're going to do is go back to the folder and drag and drop that picture into GIMP. So now we've got the picture in GIMP and if we hold down the control key and use the mouse wheel we can zoom out and this yellow box represents the actual size of the picture so we want to scale it so we're going to go to the scale tool hold down your left mouse button here and click scale or you can press shift and s click on the image and set the opacity down here this opacity you want to you want to bring it down and that allows you to see the checkered canvas in the background there so when we left click and drag inwards we can see how far we need to drag so when you get to this sort of position just middle mouse click and try and get your image in the center of the screen and then hold down the control key and you can start to zoom back in hold down the middle mouse button to pan the canvas right so you can see the image like this and we want to bring it in a little bit more something around here and then drag it downwards we want to drag it downwards and you can increase the opacity a bit here as well just so you can see a little bit clearer what's going on and we want to try and get that face into the center um, into the center of this image right something like this should be pretty good around here right something like this should be fine and we'll click scale so we've got the face there now we want to draw a circle that will uh, mask out the background basically so she'll be in a circle circle type shape so let's go ahead and create a new layer we'll click down here and create a new layer and that new layer will have a uh, black background, right? So let's just cancel that for a second. What you need to do is in your tabs here, your color swatches, you need to click on the background one here, the one behind, and select a black color. So you just drag your cursor to the bottom left and click OK. And for the top one, this very top one, you want to click on that one and click um, the mouse button and drag it to the top left and that will be white. So you just want black and white here basically, right? black and white and now we can go ahead and create a new layer and inside the layer options fill with we want to fill with the background color background color here so it will be a black background that's what we want and we'll click OK so now we have this black background we can use the ellipse tool so let's click on the ellipse tool that will allow us to create a circle and we want to move our mouse cursor to the, not to the very top corner but leave a little bit of space in there let's zoom in a little bit for you <coughs> to around here and what we'll do is, um, yeah, move your cursor to around here, then left click and start to drag, then hold down the shift key so you can constrain this to a perfect circle. And then you want to drag it out so that you've got kind of an even gap. You can see like you've got an even gap around the edges here, something like this. And then we want to fill this white. So we're going to go to edit and then fill with foreground color here. So now we've got this white circle, right, like this. And we're going to go to um, select and then none so we've got a white circle <clears throat> let's zoom out a little bit here okay so we need to select this top layer this one with the circle go to edit and copy it copy and then we need to hide this layer hide it this top one so just click on the eye to hide it click on the late picture of the person then right click and go to add layer mask here and we want to set it to black for transparency and then click add here turn off inverted mask turn that off and click add and then press ctrl v and now we have this circular shape all right and we can anchor it down so let's click the anchor icon and then click on the layer mask here you can see it's kind of off off shape or off position so what we can do is click on the move tool and just drag it up and just drag it up to here somewhere somewhere like this and use your arrow keys to move the, the circle into the correct position. So zoom out a little bit. This will be its native size. This will be like 100% here, right? That's what it will look like. 
um, but really we've got a transparent background right so if you want to save this as a PNG file and have a transparent background then you're kind of job done you can just export this file uh, let's go to save as first let's save our work let's go to the desktop here and we will go to here and let's just call this circle dash zero one and we're going to save it as a GIMP file first so we can come back and edit it then we want to export it export as and we save it as a PNG file but sometimes you want to um, have a white background right we want to put it on a website or something like this so all we do is click on the background here this bottom one where we had transparency and in fact we should really just right click and duplicate that layer duplicate it and we can hide this very bottom one so if we ever want transparency again we can just hide this bottom uh, enable this bottom one we'll hide it for now click on this copy we'll go to the paint bucket tool this paint bucket here and if you want a white background it's got white at the top already right so we can just go to the canvas uh, and click and we have a white background if you want black you can switch it over so black is on the top now using this little tool here and you can click here if you want a different color so maybe you want like a blue or a purple then just select the purple for the top swatch and then click and it will be a purple color so this uh, this background is optional right you can change it to whatever color you want in this case we're going to make it white so we just switch it over click here and it will make it white and we're going to save this as a jpeg file so let's go to file export as and this time we're going to go to select by and select jpeg and we'll click export and we'll leave it at 90% compression and export it and now we can close down GIMP and we can save this work so we've left with these different circular images we've got one that is a PNG file so it has transparency right you can't really see that here because it's white on white and then you have one with a circle which has a white uh, JPEG file and the, the JPEG is always going to be smaller than the um, than the actual PNG file right so this is 31.9 you can compress this as well more and this one will be 170 so where would I typically use this circle type picture if we open up the web browser we just go to my website and we'll go to about our section you can see that I use GIMP to crop around the circles here and I just grayscale them right like this so here you can see examples of using that technique to draw a circle around the person uh, you know for a website or for some Instagram picture or something like this don't forget when you're on my website to go to my blog and if you click on this drop down here you can see all the different tutorials that I've created for you guys so just come and check them out you've got ones for Adobe Premiere you've got Adobe After Effects you've got Facebook tutorials so you've got loads of different tutorials in here uh, to help you learn and understand different aspects of different software so hopefully you found this tutorial useful please write a comment if you like this make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel and hit that thumbs up on that video that would be much appreciated that's the end of this tutorial and i look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial